My name is Marina. I'm an occupational therapist. Um, I'm passionate about transformation. It's not just about change. It's about seeing people um, move from one place to another in their own minds and in their hearts and in their spirits. And I love seeing that wherever I go. It's what drives me to see um, success in people's lives and what helps me through the hard stuff. So, yep, yeah, I'm the lady of transformation. A shift needs to happen in our culture where we can see whole families supporting young people to actually start to achieve their dreams and to achieve their aspirations. Um, sometimes it's really hard coming from a, another country to a new one and it's hard to adjust to a, a new system and so sometimes um, the way to go about things can look pretty scary because they are not things that we grew up with. Um, we Often I'm telling people that we are trained for um, different environments, just like if you're a Pacific person, your parent is probably trained to function pretty well in the island that they came from. And so now that they have come to New Zealand, <clears throat> they want the best for you and they want the actual, um, they want prosperity for you. And so they do the best that they know how. But sometimes that gets a little bit mixed up because they haven't grown up with this world that they live in now. And so the skill sets that they bring might be really awesome in the Pacific, but in New Zealand they might look a bit strange. Which means for you as a, um, as a young person trying to make it work in this country, that you might come across a lot of conflict. So one of the ways that, um, one of the things that might help to um, make your parents feel safe and more confident about the decisions that you're making is to find a person that they respect in your community to be able to come and talk to them. But this person also needs to be someone that you can trust as well, that they would actually listen to you and be able to hear what you're saying and also um, be able to speak to your parents because they're respected um, in that way. So an example might be um, the pastor or the minister of your church. Um, hopefully um, there might be a good relationship there or maybe your youth leader. Um, that because they're a leader in the church, perhaps they might have uh, respect from your parents. Um, if they're able to communicate um, things from your perspective, perhaps their hearts might soften towards your choices and they might be able to come on board a little bit more. Um, yep, all the best.